Good morning. Today we're going to start putting these pieces together in an assembly. I'm not going to do it all in one go. I'm going to put them together in pieces, break the video up for you a little bit, um, and uh, let's go ahead and start. We're going to create a new document. We're going to title this something like Together or All Together or maybe you title it Avengers because Avengers assemble and we're assembling it or any other kind of thing you could group or uh, assembly or something. Anyway, something so you know that they're all going together. And now in not a new part, so we're not going to create a new part here. We're going to go to assembly down at the bottom. And this time we're going to insert and you'll notice there's no part to insert because in our current document, there's no, uh, nothing been, has been created yet. So we're going to go to other documents and in here, we're going to have to go to my on shape, which is all of where all of your things are stored. And now we're going to go into fancy cube, which is why we created the folder. And I'm going to start with the front face. I'm going to bring them over here, click on the front face and put them there. If there's nothing down here, you might have to create a version and just let it create whatever name it says. Usually it would be version one, which is fine. Don't worry if it says version two or version three, whatever it is, you just create it and then it will uh, make these parts down here for you. So you can choose part studio one, put him out there, green check mark. And now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. This first guy, I don't want him to be able to move. I want to lock him down in place. So I'm going to come over here on part one and I'm going to two finger click and I'm going to go to fix. And what that's going to do is it's going to fix him in place and he won't be able to move. So now when I grab him, I can't move him anywhere. So it's not letting me move him. All right, now we're going to start assembling some pieces together. I'm going to grab the next piece, which is for me is going to be the left face. You'll notice here there's no parts down here, so I'm going to have to create. I'm going to let it be version one. That's fine. Hit create. There's the two pieces. It's generating a view. It's usually pretty fast, but it's okay if it's not there. Part Studio One, and I'm going to set this guy down. Green check mark. You can accidentally set him down two or three times. It's okay. All you need is one though. All right. I'm going to click on the corner here so we can kind of see what's going on. I'm going to do it one more time. And what we're going to end up needing is we want this part right here, this edge. We want it touching right here, touching right in here. That's where we want it to go. So to do that, we're going to use this planar mate, planar mate. So I'm going to click on him. And what that's going to do is it's going to put two planes flat against each other. So I'm going to start with the first one. And when I come over here, you'll notice that there's these little circles with three colors on them. One is one color is red, one color is green, one color is blue. And it's talking about the different uh, uh, dimensions. So we have height, width, and depth. And what we want is we want the one that's facing uh, up and down. So we can see that it's going to be on this surface. I can choose this one here, but if I move to the outside, uh, move it around, I can get it. And now it's laying flat, like it's looking at the top like I'm looking at the top up here. So that's not what I want. I want the one that's flat against the back. So I'm going to click on this one. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I could choose any of these as long as it's facing in the right direction. So I'm going to choose this one. It's okay. And then I need a second one. That second one's going to be on this plane. I'm going to move my mouse around. If I can't see it, if it's too far away for me to see, zoom in on it so that you can get it. I'm choosing the middle, but it doesn't matter if I choose one of the corner ones or one of the side ones. But if I chose this one, that would be the wrong one because it's facing the wrong direction. So I want to make sure I move around until I choose the one facing the correct direction. I'm going to click on him and you'll notice that it's now facing through the piece. 
and I really don't like that. I don't want it going through the piece. So if I go over here and I click on this arrow, it'll flip that axis and flip it around to the back side, which is kind of where I want it. There's also that arrow over here. It'll flip it over here. The same one, the same information. I'm going to green check mark. If I green check mark on the small little piece, it leaves this tool up. If I green check mark on this tool, it'll close the tool out. All right. So now I want you to see that this piece, oops, I am going to exit out so I can do some stuff. This piece will move up and down, but I can't move it left or right. It won't let me because it has been constrained touching this surface. Now I can move it this direction, this direction, up, down, but I can't move it away from that surface. It's always going to be touching that surface. Okay, flip it back around so I can kind of see. Now, this is up and down. Our piece that just went on there is laying flat. It's not going the right direction. So I'm going to use planar mate and I want this surface right here, this surface to be touching this surface up here. So I want this is the top and this is the top. I want them touching together. So I'm going to come up here and choose the right one uh, and click. And I'm going to come down over here and choose the correct one. Click. And you'll notice it's inside, but Mr. K, it's not supposed to go past this surface. When I hit check, it'll jump back out to where it needs to be. When I decide to move him around, he can only move in one direction now. It won't let me move. I can't go up, I can't go down, and I can't go left or right. I can only go forward and backwards in this. Uh, it's only locked in because we've we've locked out two of its directions it can move. All right, so we have a third dimension that we need to lock out, and that's going to be this face and this face. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on any one of these here. It doesn't matter which one it is. It looks like it's inside of it, but when I click check mark, it jumps to the outside. And there I have that guy locked in and it can't move. It is locked into place. The left face is locked into place. And that's what you're going to do with all six faces. You're going to try to do that with all six faces. Good luck. If you need help, there's more videos showing how to do each one of these. Just with less of me talking.